Okay, now I want to tell you about some of the problematic reading material that we've received and that you've probably heard about in the news from months ago, but it's actually worse than you thought. And this is all material that endorses critical race theory and privilege training. The Secretary of Defense and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs said the military does not promote or endorse CRT. They said, well, it's just for educational purposes if they're teaching about it, just for situational awareness. Now, I disagree with that assessment. And I would also question why these reading materials are on the Navy's official reading list. And these reading materials are far from mainstream. It's books like How to Be an Anti-Racist by Ibram X. Kendi, in which Kendi argues that America is corrupt to the core with racism and that, quote, the only remedy to past discrimination is present discrimination. The only remedy to present discrimination is future discrimination, end quote. Examples like these have been shared from multiple service members and various units. Which raises an obvious question. If the military doesn't endorse CRT, why is the military distributing brochures and advertisements touting these books as part of its educational focus? It's not like these books are simply included on a list. They're being advertised and promoted to service members. Now, here's the problem with having these books on the Navy's official reading list. It means that military leadership endorses the material taught in these books. And more than that, believes that it's beneficial for our service members to read them. It would be a different story if these readings were offered in context or presented in the form of a debate of ideas, but that is not what's happening. and That's what our chairman got wrong. This reading material is being propagandized and manifested into actual training for our service members, which is what we've been exposing this whole time. Our service members don't need to be reading arguments that America and her institutions, including the military, are inherently racist and irredeemable. It's detrimental to the morale of the very men and women who put on the uniform to defend America with their lives. This is a serious problem. What's worse, military leaders are pushing back against me, saying, oh, we're ruining the reputation of the military by exposing this. That's not true. What's ruining the reputation of the military is legitimizing CRT, legitimizing this notion that the military is inherently racist, that America is inherently racist and irredeemable. That's what's ruining the reputation that's what needs to stop. That's why we're doing this.